Good morning friends, myself Bhaskar. In this video, I discuss about what is constructor and its types. First, what is constructor? It is a special method of the class which is used to initialize objects of the class. Or we can say it is used to assign initial legal value to the data member of the class. Now, what are its characteristics? Characteristics of constructor. First, it has same name as class and it is automatically called whenever an object of class is created. Next characteristics. It does not have written type, not even void, although it is a method. Next, it can be overloaded. Next, it cannot be inherited. Now, what are types of constructor? First, default constructor. Constructor having no argument is called default constructor. Next, parameterized. Constructor having one or more argument is called parameterized constructor. Next, copy constructor. It copy values of reference in current object. Next, I am showing you an example. Just define a class with some data members. In my case, I have taken ABC. And if you want to, <coughs> if you want to assign some initial value, This is an example of default constructor. Now just copy it and paste. This time I am having a value. It is called parameterized constructor. As I told you, it can be overloaded. So we can define any number of constructor. This is constructor with two arguments, which is also known as parameterized constructor. Third constructor with three argument. So friends, these are some examples of constructor. First, default constructor. Next, dip con parameterized constructor with one argument. Parameterized constructor with two argument. Then parameterized constructor with three argument. Now I define a copy constructor. It copy value of reference into current object. Now, in order to display a state of each object, there is a method display. It will show a state of each object. Now I created some objects.
in the first object i have passed no arguments so it will call constructor with no argument that means default constructor in the second object i have passed one argument so it will call constructor with one argument in the third object i have passed two arguments in the fourth object i have passed all the three arguments so it will call constructor with three arguments and finally there is a constructor uh, and finally i have created an object and in this object i will copy one of the previous created object so it is an example of copy constructor in my case i have i want to copy value of object 3 into object 5 so i have passed object 3 as a reference into constructor now when now i want to display state of each object so so regarding every object i have called display method now just run this program create a folder anywhere in your system now save the program with the name of class in which main method is defined now open the folder and next open the command window yes this is the program output as you can see the first object is displaying default values 1 2 3 in the second object i have passed one argument so it is showing 5 2 3 in the third object i have passed two arguments so it is showing 5 6 3 in the fourth object i have passed all the three arguments so it is showing 5 6 7 and in the last object i have just uh, uh, passed one of the previous object uh, in my case it is object 3 so it is again showing 5 6 3 which is the value of object 3 next <clears throat> some more things we have to know about the constructor in java in java there is a default value regarding every data type so we have to know it so this is the list now i just modify the program actually in this program i want to show you if we have not specified any constructor if we have not taken any constructor then in that case java default value will be applicable now again from same the same program and you find there is 0 0 0 which is because the default value for integer is 0 so we always have to know what are the default values regarding every data types in java this is for today thanks for watching my video